videos. Most artists release one or two from an album, but Matt Goss is making a video for every single track on his latest release, which uh, I think is unheard of. The album is called The Beautiful Unknown. It's out tomorrow, and Matt joins us now. Oh, this is actually nice something that you've always wanted to do, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I've released a lot of music and I just feel like that it would be nice to be able to watch an album. You know, sit back and watch the albums, yeah. you know, it's because we, we, you know, it's TikTok and Instagram and we, that, that's a medium that we will become so used to and it just, it would be lovely to have, you can sit down and just watch hopefully your favourite album and just really, really put different like narrative and, you know, uh, ethereal, just put it all together and hopefully somehow make it make sense mm. by the end of the, by the end of the watch. Well, if you're going to do that, you've got to have the music to back it up and this yeah. is your fifth solo album and you say this is the best pop record you've ever made. Yeah, it is. It's just, I think, you know, I fell out of love with music in the, in, during the pandemic. Yeah. And, you know, we did uh, uh, Celebrity Juice and yeah. tried to make people laugh at our expense. But yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> and I, 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 I got great pleasure connecting with the fans on Instagram. But, mm. but during that process, um, they, they made it very clear that they wanted a pop record from me. And, and yeah, that's where I went. You saved somebody during those Instagram chats, didn't you? Yeah, I, I, I think maybe I had a, 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 a part to it. do with it. Yeah, I mean, we had about 22,000 people join me on this live. It got very, very dramatic, and she was saying that she was going to take her own life. And I obviously made sure that I said, if this is true, I will call the authorities. I'm not qualified for that. But yeah. it, eventually I said, oh, do you just want to be heard? I sensed that she just wanted to be heard. And then an hour, an hour went by, and we all, she just got flooded mm -hmm. with love. And, um, she went on later to talk about it in detail in the national newspapers. But, um, yeah, she's, she's well, and that was part An of... An amazing uh, thing to do. Yeah, well The done. thing is that the album, uh, Beautiful Unknown, I mean, it, 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 it's come out of your poetry, which you, which you write, and it's sort of that, that f the fear that we have, that you can have the fear of uh, next hour, fear of tomorrow, fear of, you know, next month, which we all had during lockdown yeah. and yeah. continues now in this bizarre world that we find ourselves in, and it can be frightening. Um, I mean, music is one of those things that can pull you out, and it certainly pulled you out. Yeah, I think the title, The Beautiful Unknown, for me is that I'm, I also want to try and listen to my own advice. You know, I do fear the unknown sometimes, and I do fear what's next, and, but I just want to live in a collective kind of space with everybody where if we all say, you know, the unknown is not something we should fear and, and we should actually embrace it and it's going to be a good day tomorrow. And, you know, there's, there's something beautiful about it. Even through my pain, I've, I found I've learned so much from it, you know. So I just mm. want to really encourage people. And through this album, you know, it was a, it was a joyous experience. Everyone on the record won a, a Brit and a Grammy and, and you know, a Brit, or multiple Brits and Grammys. And um, the people on the album have, have really got behind it and it's just, I'm very proud of it. Well, you should be. Let's have a little listen. Uh, this is uh, the latest single, Better With You, and we'll talk about it after. Here it is. I like it. I mean, that's what we need. It's upbeat, it's positive, it's got a little bit of that kind of 80s vibe feel about it. Well, you are going to end up on all of my billboards now. That's what we need. <laughs> Everybody, that, that Holly what we said need. that's what we need. So. You can have it. <laughs> yeah. Quote, it's going to be everywhere. But I think you're right, we do need... Listen, there's some, there's some very hard-hitting subjects on the album that are very truthful, you know, the, the erosion of love, the blossom of love, but this is just a feel-good record, and yeah. we do need that. We need to be our spirits lifted, and it's a real banging pop record, and I'm... I'm you know, that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm, I'm straight after this, I'm going to rehearsals to, um, with, my, with my full eight-piece band and we're going to start smashing it live, so. It's, uh, it's interesting because uh, you, you talk about lockdown being difficult, helping people through it, but for you, with Shipwreck, you sat down at the piano at two, two o'clock in the morning and you say you'd fallen out of love with music. If something hadn't come out of your head at that moment, would you have packed it in, do you think? I think so. I think I was tired. I mean, 120 shows a year, 11 years. I'm proud of the legacy in Vegas and stuff, but it was that moment when my fingers just felt bruised, my voice felt, my ribs and my lungs, everything was just like... My obsession was transporting an audience and making them forget about their bills and their... But I was getting home and thinking... I was feeling very hollow and, and the shipwreck really is about that imagery of a, a being dismantled underwater and I felt dismantled. Mm. I didn't know when, I st even now I'm still trying to figure out where I, home is, I feel quite transient but when I'm here the British public make me feel like I have an extended family. I'm sure mm. you guys are aware of that, it's just like there's, there's this conversational kind of element when you've been around for a long time. People just come up to you and talk to you and I find that quite... Um, reassuring and I've lost so much 
and so many of my family are gone. Um, and coming back home, it's given me a, a sense of reassurance from the yeah. British public. And think... does it feel more like home here for you It now? does. It was weird. There were so many routines that I would have with my family. But now, it's, it's nice. I like being me, if that makes sense. It's, it yeah. feels good to be able to walk around and say, hey, hey, hey Mr. Goss, how you doing? Hello, Mac. You know, you still doing Vegas? Every black cab I get into. And it's just, it's, it's nice. But after 11 years, that that's the end of the residency? I wouldn't say it's the end of the residency, but it is the end, the end of that kind of residency. I will never do four shows a week. You know, 120 shows a year, it, it, it's too much on everything. It's mm. just you have no time. You have a day to recover, and, and it's, it, your larynx and your vocal cords, are, there, there's a, you know, the, yeah. the biology, the biology behind that many shows is just too much. That's why I had to stop singing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm right, too. It was too, too much. Well, right, you said you were going to do the, the headline gig on the, uh, in, 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 in Africa with me. <laughs> no one needs to see that. <laughs> I think everyone needs no. to see it. No, I'd pay. <laughs> <laughs> so I would I, right I now. I've got my wallet. You've got I my would. wallet. <laughs> and Luke's all right. He's painting. Yeah, he's painting. He's, he's a really, really excited about that journey. He's doing very well and he's fallen in love with it, which is, mm. is such an immersive thing for him. So I'm so proud of him. Well, yeah, good. Well, listen, that what we're talking about is The Beautiful Unknown, and that is out tomorrow, and it's great to see you. It's lovely to see Thank you, you and lovely to see you both, and my love to everybody. Good Thank to see you. Mate.